Hi, and welcome back to Two Finger Pour. What we are doing today for you is we are going to do a classic whiskey sour. So let's go ahead and get started on all the tools you need to have for this cocktail. Of course you need your whiskey selection, your Angostura bitters, homemade simple syrup, lemon juice, just a reminder, we do want to recommend fresh lemon juice, cherries for your garnish, one egg, lemon with a peeler, some sort of pick for your cherry garnish, your hawthorn strainer, your fine strainer, jigger, glassware, of course your shaker tins, and ice. We will make sure to list down below in the description all of these items that you do need from ingredients as well as tools. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see in front of us, we do have two identical setups to make two cocktails. Reason for that being today is that we are going to show you two different methods for shaking of egg whites. So let's go ahead and get started with our whiskey. So what we are using today for one of the whiskey sours is going to be Whistling Andy Straight Bourbon. This one does have a slightly lower amount of corn in their mash bill, about 60%, and that's going to just make it for a slightly less sweet whiskey. It is aged three to four years and it's from Montana, and then it'll have tasty notes of vanilla and a little bit of raw wood. So let's go ahead and start with 1.5 ounces of that. And then one ounce of fresh lemon juice. 0.75 of simple syrup. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. And we're gonna get our egg white. Easiest way to do the egg to crack it is on the side of your tin. It will do a pretty clean break, so usually it is a lot easier doing that than smacking it on a counter or things like that. Some people even take a bar spoon and hit it to do a clean break as well. So I'm gonna do the side of my tin. And then slowly get that egg white out. If any of you have done a little bit of baking, same method as well. It'll kind of give you a head start on the egg white method. Okay, and then let's get our other cocktail started. So for this one, we are doing Maker's Mark. This one is going to be from Kentucky. I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with this product. Um, it is gonna be done with 70% corn in the mash bill, so 10% higher, which is gonna be a little bit sweeter than the Whistling Andy. This one does have tasting notes of caramel and vanilla. So exact same recipe, 1.5 of the Maker's. And then one ounce of fresh lemon juice. 0.75 of simple syrup. Our two dashes of Angostura bitters. And egg white one more time. So the two methods that we are showing you is a dry shake and then a reverse dry shake. So let's start with our Whistling Andy one and we are going to do a traditional dry shake. That's no ice the first time around for the shake. So let's go ahead and shake that. Again, no ice in this one and you wanna keep your hands firmly on the tin because sometimes it will cause it to separate. Now we're going to add the ice and give that a shake. So we're taking our Hawthorne strainer and our fine strainer, and we are going to drain that out into our coupe glass. And of course, we want to take our lemon and our peeler, give that a quick peel, 
and we want to just express those oils over top really quick and we're ready for our cherry garnish. So this method is going to be a traditional dry shake. Now we are moving on to our maker's tin. That one's going to be a reverse dry shake. So what we are doing is adding the ice first this time. Give that a shake. And now we're gonna take our Hawthorne strainer and our fine strainer, and we are gonna strain directly into the tin this time. And take your big tin with the ice, go ahead and discard that. Don't need your strainers anymore. And now we are going to cap the tin again and give that a shake with no ice. And now we can just pour directly into our coupe glass. Take your lemon peeler again. And express some oil over top. And we're ready for our cherry garnish. So the two differences between the dry shake and the reverse dry shake, normally I like to use the reverse dry shake method when I'm working behind a bar of high volume. Just me personally, I feel like I can knock it out a little faster because you can just pour directly into the glass. Um, you will compromise just the level of coolness in the cocktail. So if you're making it directly for the person right in front of you or it's just per person cocktail, we'd recommend a traditional dry shake. A lot of people do have common questions about what does an egg white do, or they hate eggs, or things like that. Um, really all an egg white does to a cocktail is it gives it just a beautiful, beautiful texture. It's a really, really silky texture. And as you can see, this really nice split in the cocktail, this is why you do the dry shake, is to activate that. Um, if you are allergic to egg or things like that, or the egg just kind of creep you out a little bit in the cocktail, one substitution that is really, really great for cocktails as well is aquafaba. It's going to be the uh, water found in chickpeas. So basically you can just buy a can of chickpeas, drain out that water, and you are gonna do the methods exactly the same whether you prefer dry shake or uh, reverse dry shake. Either one totally works fine, and it is a really, really great substitution for people who just don't like to eat eggs or have an allergic reaction or things like that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, we will be listing all the tools and ingredients down below if you have any questions regarding that just to make an easy grocery list for you. Please don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We are at Two Finger Pour, all one word. Don't forget, of course, to like, subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please leave those in the comments below. We'd be happy to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.